Super License 6 sees us at Trail Mountain in the Shelby GT350R. Can I just say, horrible pig of a car just to start with. It took me a little while to get used to this and I think put 27 miles on the clock before we actually started a decent lap. So this is the first time I've driven it. So it was half an hour, 26 minutes of driving in total to get this one done. Default ABS, traction control on, one, everything else off. And we're going to dive straight into the lap, as I say, about 27 miles on the track, on the clock, before we get to the good lap. I'd actually set this up with two decent laps and blown it right on the last corner. As always, I challenge myself by chasing the fastest ghost. Coming into this corner, it's to change down to fill fourth and hover on the throttle. Try and control the slide. Don't let the car fishtail out of this corner. It's a bit of a pig. I lost it probably four or five times and dived into that left-hand wall. Coming under the tunnel, down a second for this corner and let it run out wide. Balancing that throttle to try and stop the tail slipping out. Then we're going to break at the shadow, the first one on the right-hand side. Apex that corner in second, drive it through. We're going to prepare to go up to third, and then drop it down a second as we come through these S's. Don't let the car run out wide. See the ghost go? A lot of time lost there. And then we're going to change down the second and turn in early. As opposed to that ghost, that one went wide. We've actually got through him there. We're much faster through the S's. And we're going to race down the back straight here. Now, if you remember back to the National A License 5, where we're coming down here in the GT86, we braked at the lights, at the sign, we're gonna brake at the first big tree right on the edge, just there. We're gonna brake down, just bumping that brake, changing down to second, and we're gonna hug the inside of the apex and push through, chasing the ghost up the hill. Now this is where Miyazuno says, always make sure your tires are in contact with the road because you lose it here by flying this ridge and not braking in time. So my ghost from the last lap goes wide there. We have to cut a better line and we're well ahead of him. And he was only 0.3 off the line, off the actual gold. So as we push down here, we're gonna to prepare to brake and we're gonna use the curbs on the right hand side of the marker. One car length fast, breaking down a second. We're gonna hug it, but the car's gonna lag. It's gonna get stuck on the, on like boost lag. But we're gonna come through this apex and we're gonna drive hard for the line and we're well ahead of the ghost. We accelerated much quicker out of that corner. We're gonna pass through the line and we're gonna secure a goal with a 1.14.767. So quarter of a second inside the target time. And I think there's loads of room in there loads of room in there you could probably without much effort get that well down to a 2.14 so here we go a review of the lap with the replay coming into this corner changing down to fourth you've just got to hold it stop the back end pushing out don't slide right if you, if you throttle through that corner you end up into the fence on the left hand side you can cut quite a bit through those apexes as you come through you can use more curb than I did roll out wide to the curb and then you can turn in earlier I probably turned in a bit late but down a second for this corner pushing out the hill three quarters throttle then give it full throttle stop it sliding right break on the first set of shadows second round this apex push on hard we're gonna get up to third gear and then we're gonna just change down a second and try and keep it tight don't run it out wide here then as you go into the tunnel, see me, I lost it a little bit there. As we go into the tunnel, we're going to break down a second and turn left. Fly out of that tunnel up to third. We're going to change it to fourth. Into fifth as we go up the hill and we're going to push all the way to the crest. And then we're going to look for that big tree, as I said, on the right hand side as our breaking point. It's the dark tree, you can just see him there. We're going to break on that tree, brake lights on nose dives down a second turn into the corner push through and the car does a tendency to no dive into the apex there so keep on going through the sequoias push on hard getting through this apex here don't let the car jump off the ridge 
down to second, push through the corner, keep it tight. And we're going to race down the hill now. I think I was a bit cagey down here. A break just on the edge of the strip there. Could have taken more curb maybe, but that was a second gear. We're going to run it hard down to this corner. And we're going to enter, enter, uh, attempt to take this corner in second gear, just breaking past the end of the rumble strip. Apex that corner, the car seems to lag, but we're going to cut it back in, try and take that tight, then we're going to run for the line. Didn't like the car at all, took me a long time to get used to it, I say a long time. 26 minutes in total footage, feels like a long time, felt like a long time, but actually, that's a well achievable, good drive. Just like to say thank you to everybody. So there I go, top of the tree. All my mates, no dobber, not even on the map. Take care, folks. All the best.